guys. So this is part two of my Q&A with Sir Eljon. Thank you, Sir Eljon. So again, just to recap, he is the summa cum laude of his pre-med batch in BS Health Sciences and the Ateneo with a QPI of 3.90, which is very high since the perfect QPI in the Ateneo is 4. And he also was a cum laude when he graduated in UPCM and is also outstanding intern in OB. And he had a clinical elective in Oxford in surgery. He is a baker, a model, and a candy cutie. So this is part two of our video. I hope you find it helpful. Thank you, Sir Aljan. Worry number nine. Were there times wherein you just wanted not to be a doctor anymore because it was so hard, but you felt like you had no choice since you had nowhere else to go? What did you do? And how many times did you have this realization of just wanting to give up? If meron. Maraming times na, no med school ha, let's, ay pa yung residency na, you just stop and parang, this is not happening to me. <laughs> Ako, first, parang for, Sort of breakdown, breakdown ko was clerkship. I was in a rotation na uh, sabay-sabay nagka-patient, ang dami. Tapos parang sometimes you get, may decking system kayo ng kapwa mo student eh. Tapos sa kanya, isa-iba na de-deck, mga napapadischarge. Pero sa sa'yo, malas lang na de-deck. Yung mga matagal, mga toxic, gano'n. So maraming gagawin. So may time talaga na I just went to the bathroom, siguro cried a bit. Tapos naghilamos, tapos lumabas lang ulit. So, wala. Kailangan mo siya tapusin. So, I did feel that frustration, sort of helplessness. Pero, eventually, nagtulungan naman kaming mga blockmates. So, na natawid, natawid ko rin. May time din na, no, internship, uh, I received the patient na walang bantay. I mean, wala siyang, wala siyang kasama. Dumating siya, mag-isa lang. Tapos, toxic pa. Kailangan idealisis, blah, blah, blah. I was an intern. Tapos, my resident was really stressed din. So, wala. Natulungan lang kami na matawid yung patient na yun. Eventually, yung patient na yun, nakita ko out of parang tutulog-tulog, intubated. As in, nag-follow up sa OPD nung intern ako. So, oh wow. Ang laking ginahawa nung eventually kahit napagod ka, medyo na nas nalungkot ka, iniyakan mo. Pag makita mo silang very well, very masigla, na not like the patient you saw them, na helpless, malaking ginahawa din siya. Pero eventually, nahirap talaga i-confront yung mga ganong situation. Kasi nakapagod eh. Hmm. Wow. So sir, like, wala ka naman like doubts na, ay, ayoko na mag-med kasi sobrang hirap, sobrang tagal. Uh, may mga times na may iba pa isip mo yun na bakit yung mga iba kong corporate friends, ang laki na ng sweldo. Tapos ako nag-aaral pa. <laughs> Eventually, I, I, I talked to one of my mentors about it. Tapos, he talked to me about a reality na, oh, okay, sige, maganda pala yung, there's a good investment that's waiting for us na hopefully fulfilling in many ways. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, sir, almost there. Uh, worry number 10. What was your most unforgettable med school experience or what was the hardest? Well, ako definitely unforgettable yung mga patient eh. Ah, sige na lang ito. Yung first mortality ko as a clerk. So, first rotation ko yung pedia. First rotation ko yung pedia na as a clerk. Yun yung toxic, first toxic na rotation ko noon. Tapos, uh, ER ako noon and then I had a, uh, yung first shift ko the day before was child na 8 month old na merong ventricular septal defects. May BSD. Tapos nagka pneumonia. Mm. Very common kasi sa mga kids na ganito yung pneumonia. Tapos ang pangalan niya, he was named after a Dota character. His dad was young, mom was young. Pero they were, they looked very, a very nice loving couple. The following day after siya ma-intubate, no, one day na siya intubated dahil punong-puno yung ER nun. Punong-puno talaga. Doon pa din siya, critical na critical. Hanggang sa amin, ako yung nagmo-monitor na clerk. Tapos, ang dami niyang swero, ha? Yung batang yun. Di na pick ako nung tatay. Do, ah, uh, di na na si baby. Tapos, eh, na nakatouch ako doon. Eh, yung, alam mo yung, you go, sometimes you go the extra mile to help a patient na gag-guide mo sila. Dito mo dadalhin, ganyan. Kasi, nalulost talaga sila. Tapos, medyo hirap din sila nung time. Yung, we startled na yung only child nila. Nung tinawag niya sa akin yun, pinakinggan ko, wala nga ako narinig na heart rate. So, as a student, baka hindi ka confident eh, to call a, you call that a code eh. No? You're, you, you, you shout to the team na there's a, someone heart stop. So, may, may mayroong ano nun, may protocol na gagawin yung resident. First time ko yun na, na ako nagsabi, ma'am, code po, code po tayo. Tapos, so siyempre, CPR ka kagad doon. Tuturuan ka naman eh, no, ng advanced cardiac life, with basic life support, and pedia pulse, tuturuan ka naman. Tapos, ako yung nag-chest compressions, ganyan. Tapos, pero umiyak ako. Umiyak din yung family, umiyak din ako habang nag-chest compressions. Tapos, sabi nung resident ko, Elgin, sige, sa side ka muna. Pinatabi niya ako. So, umiyak lang ako doon. Kasama yung family. Umiyak din ako with them. Hanggang sa eventually, after the cycle, 
the, the patient didn't make it. Tapos, the patient was pronounced yun. Si Sisos, naiyak din ako, naiyak. Iyak ako, naiyak nung araw. Duty pa ako nun. Tapos, eventually, ako, I really loved uh, the pedia fellow. Napansin niya na I was like that. After the whole thing, she talked to the she talked to the parent, helped the baby, helped the parents. Tapos, kinausap niya ako na, how are you? Ganun, ganun, ganun. Pinroses niya yung nangyari. Sabi ko, ma'am, this is my first, ano, my first mortality in my, in my life, in med school na ako yung... Pinroses niya, tinulungan niya ako mag-adjust, ganun. Par, sobrang okay na rest din doon. Si, walang shoutout si Dr. Olivia Olivia Reyes ng Cupay. Lambda, oh, <laughs> lambda din siya. Uh, sobrang okay ni Ma'am Cupay. Pinroses na yung experience ko. Never ko nakalimutan yun. Tapos, she, tinuruan din niya ako ng learning points doon sa BSD, sepsis, how to approach that. It's okay to, it's, I think, tama talaga mag-care for your patient. Pero sometimes when you get to what, sometimes you get more attached than you want to. Tapos, um, separation gets hard. Lahat tayo magkakaroon ng some sort of ganong experience. Pero kasi sir, COVID eh, baka mamaya walang pasok, tas puro paperwork na lang, tas walang patient encounter. Ang sad! Ang sad. Pero I mean, kasi better naman yung safety ninyo. So, if it's more safe. Pero eventually, you do have to kasi it's really part of med school. so uh, Worry number 11. <laughs> Wala na akong fingers. Okay, number 11. Is it true that residents have no time for sleep anymore? And do you still have weekends when you are an intern or resident? So yung intern, iba, totally different story. So, depende sa shift mo, may meron kang, kang meron, meron, meron may weekend, may, sometimes may off ka talaga, sometimes you're on duty on the holidays, pag intern. Kasi, uh, it's still the same, pero mas maraming responsibility than a clerk or a student. Pag residency, again, depende sa field. Eventually, when you find the time to take breaks, then okay, pero just as long as you don't compromise your work tsaka yung I mean your work kasi is the person's life eh. so if you do actions that you'd rather choose to go on a break than accomplish the work that can change a person's management then you have to weigh in your ano, you have to weigh in your priorities tama na I mean tamang balance lang na trabaho mo tapusin mo yung trabaho mo tapos eat do everything that you have to do in your time pero eventually mahirap siya eh. mahirap siyang balansehin eh pero wala kailangan mo siyang gawin eh mahirap talaga residency is a totally different world na maraming challenges napakaraming learning napakaraming opportunities for growth lalo na since you have seniors people who guide you consultants your fellow residents so yun minsan minsan, minsan may weekend minsan wala pero you do what's you do the best with the time that you have <laughs> Pero mahirap, mas mahirap talaga siya than internship. Totally different than internship. Sige. Siguro next time ko na problemahin yun pag natapos ko oh. na lahat yun. Oh, <laughs> Tagal-tagal <you've worked laughs> pa, pa naman. <laughs> okay. Uh, sir, worry number 12. Did you have time for friends, partying, during med school, and now that you're in the hospital? Meron, meron, meron time for that. Meron time for your friends. Meron time for gaming. Meron time for go out. You can even travel with your friends. Yeah, oh, if you have the opportunity, may research ka, present it abroad. So may time ka to travel and present research. You have to do UPI has a lot of support for researches, pres- research presentation. So, ako, nagkaroon sila na before na ano eh. Yung HALT, nakita mo yung HALT Prize? Oo, oh, oh. yung, yung oh. second place ka, sir. Yung HALT Prize oh. in Shanghai. Yung HALT Prize, parang ano yun, parang business competition yun na first time sumali yung UP kasi may isang alumni na interested about it. Tapos, nagbigay sila ng money to support to go to to go to the foreign country. So, very supportive yung UP sa ganitong opportunities. So, may time talaga. May time naman. Worry number 13. When did you start studying for the boards? What is your secret for passing the boards? Mm-hmm. And in a scale of 1 to 10, how hard did you study for it? Well, ako, I did my best. I, I, I wouldn't say that I really... Uh, I think I thought I could, I could have done better again. Pero, um, boards is totally separate thing we can talk about in another episode. Pero, I did my best. I got distracted a lot. I enrolled in the, ano, I enrolled in the top-notch review center. There are some things I hope I knew when I was in LU4 about the review. So, pero I enrolled in top-notch. I studied with a friend then once in a while. Pero mostly self-study siya. Tsaka, kailangan magkaroon ka ng discipline and style na comfortable ka. Pero the boards is totally separate. Hardship, hurdle, pero accomplishment that you will pass through as a physician. Hindi na ako nakatulog. So, sobrang anxiety, hindi ako makatulog nun eh. Pero natapos din yun. Pero my, my score is okay. Parang I think it should have been better. Pero, 
Okay Will na yun, I... sir, kasi look at you now. You're a resident na. Uh, you have your license. <laughs> That's ayun, still like, cute. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Worry number 14. Wala na talaga akong fingers. Okay. How are you as a doctor today? You got in PGH, so you must be very good. How did you get in PGH? And what is your happiness scale from 1 to 10? Uh, as like being a doctor today. I will say that I'm very happy. <laughs> Kasi maganda yung training program ng ORL. May batchmates are very supportive. My seniors are very nice. And very, my consult, our consultants train you, take the time to teach you, train you. Plus, plus yung mga katrabaho mo, very okay. Tapos, um, I, th- I, I have a lot more to learn as a doctor. So yeah, happiness 10, satisfied. Uh, I think I made the right choice naman. But I think this is, I think my plans naman are getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Yun. Wow, Sa syempre, sir. COVID, wala natutuloy. So, pero, very happy naman currently with where I am right now. And finally, the last worry. Okay. Actually, di siya worry. More on like, to end this, sir. If time machines exist and you had the chance to meet yourself when you were just still in med school, what will you tell yourself? And what changes would you like to make that you think could have made you even a better doctor today? <laughs> uh, well, bibigay ko yung videos na inaral ko ng board sa akin. I mean, from to my previous self. Nung aralin mo na to lahat para pagdating mo, maalala mo to lahat. Kasi ang galing nung mga board review sessions, eh, parang they make you remember so many things in a shorter span of time. I think it would have been very useful as an adjunct to how I studied in med school. That's one. Um, pero other than that, uh, med school is very happy. Eh. So, um, I love my friends. Um, my residents na sila ngayon. My blockmates. Na iba-ibang residency fields na din. Uh, my anatomates. Ayan, miss ko na yung mga ana- I just saw them a few months before ECQ din. Well, I was very happy. Eh. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't want to change anything major. Pero, siguro, more, I could have developed other skills more, siguro. <laughs> like, sig- yun na, like, aralin mo sana, naaral ko to beforehand para mas, pagating ko sa later years, mas, mas expand yung knowledge ko about it. More. Pero more than that, sana hindi na matay, sana hindi nag-pass away si I mean, ko, mamabago ko ba yun? Na-inspire ako, sorry. As an intern, I took, I, ano rin, I was assigned to the hematology, oncology part. Sobrang, sobrang ano din yun. Uh, challenging, inspiring, pero ang dami ko natutunan dun eh. Kids with cancer, so, na-build talaga yung Ako, dami na ng problema. Tapos ako, ito ang problema ko. Naiiyak <laughs> na ako. Ay, sila pa, di ba? So, ma- depends. Some people talaga will give you more strength. So, o oh, sana, sana humaba pa yung life nila. Sana, naging mas okay pa sila. Pero, di ko lang kung mababago ko yun eh. Pero about myself, there's an exciting <laughs> doctory life ahead. <laughs> And you, ano, tapos sabi sa akin, oh, huwag mo kalimutan maging ano, LU4, LU3 monitor kasi exciting din yun. Lalo na yung class of 2023. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Sobrang, sobrang inspiring. Tsaka, like, pag may word works naman, so, sobrang nakainspire. Ah, ER, pag mag-ER ka, hala, ER, oh my God. Yun lang naman, sir. That's all the questions we have as med students. And thank you for answering all of them. Thank you, din, Tapos, Lizzie, for having me. <laughs> sir, okay lang ba? Kasi ako, mahilig ako manood ng mga talk shows. And then, one of my favorite part is yung fast talk ni Tito Boy Abunda. So, nag-prepare ako some questions for fast talk. Okay lang ba if we do fast talk? Sige. <laughs> <laughs> so, fast talk. This is all from Tito Boy Abunda's uh, fast talk question. <laughs> ano lang to? Answer, no explanations naman. What's your hidden talent? Tap dancing. What makes you uncomfortable? Being forced into something I don't like. Funniest person you know? Noel Tang. Oh, your study buddy! Uh, <laughs> Kapag wala kang trabaho, anong oras ka nagigitik? <laughs> <Ten. laughs> Bagay na tamad na tamad ka gawin. The dishes. Unang tinitingnan mo sa isang tao? <laughs> Yung leg. Yung leg! <laughs> <laughs> Bakit, sir? Wait, eto. Sige natin ang explanation. Hala ko walang explanation. <laughs> Hindi, kasi ka. Interesting naman. Bakit, bakit naman? Sexy ba yung leg? Mid. <laughs> Bati ka, sir. Sige, sige. Wag na. No explanation. Sige. Okay. Stick into the rules. Okay. Actor na hinahangaan mo. Actor? Si Jackie Chan. If you were to appear in another commercial, saan mo gusto? Ano? A car commercial. Kung ride ka sa theme park, ano ka? <laughs> yung anchors away yung one. <laughs> yung ganun. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Beauty or brains? Ah, oh, brains, brains, brains. Pagkain na sa ref lagi ni L. John E. Ah! Uh, uh, Lumpat milk. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Pamahiin na lagi mong sinusunod. Medyo ano ko siya, very stingy na person. So, when you can avoid the cost, avoid it. <laughs> Kung sasakyan ka, ano ka? Wala, wala akong alam sa brand eh. Ano na lang, favorite yung LT Hot Content. <laughs> yung muro banter? Kasi muro siya kaya, pwede mag-deliver. Pwede ka, o pag event mo, mura. Sobrang efficient niyang car. Kahit hindi siya maganda tingnan, pero marami siyang nagagawa. <laughs> Multi-purpose, grabe. Nakaiba ang, sir, iniisip ko baka four, siya ganyan. <laughs> hindi ko maalam sa brand eh. <laughs> So, hindi ko alam. Amazing! L300. <laughs> first thing you bought with your first paycheck? Ah! I bought new clothes. Okay, sir. Thank you! Oh my gosh! I'm so grateful. Thank you! Um, Tam Samida. <laughs> okay, bye-bye! So, there you have it, guys. That's all the questions I have for you. And hope Sir Elgin was able to answer them. And I hope that it has helped you somehow. Please let us know if you like this video. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Bye, guys. See you soon.